state government says it has secured the unconditional release of 544 kidnap victims, arrested over 2,000 bandits collaborators and recovered rustled cattle. This was achieved within the period of shutdown of telecommunications network in the state. And during the period, hard drugs, cold drinks, premium motor spirit known as petrol, among other things meant for delivery to bandits, were also intercepted. The governor, Bello Matawale, disclosed this while swearing in the state's auditor general, commissioners and special advisors. And Teofilos Darifai reports. The first state government has on September 3rd shut down telecommunication services across the state to enable security operatives to carry out operations against bandits and their collaborators. The government also shut down all schools, weekly markets, and also placed ban on the sale of petrol in Jerichans, as well as the use of motorcycles outside the state capital. The decision became necessary following rising cases of attacks on communities and abduction of persons, including students. Governor Bello Matoli believes the measures yielded the desired results. The government has so far been able to receive a total of 544 of the thieves from the bandits. A series of arrests of suspected bandits and their collaborators were met across the Botanical Government Councils. Interceptions of a large cart of alcoholic drinks and the hard drugs named to be taken to the bandits. We were able to close down all the hideout of informers and other bandits collaborators. The governor also saw in the state auditor general two commissioners and ten special advisors. He challenged them to contribute their quota to the development of the state and the promotion of peaceful coexistence among residents. This is called service and make a sacrifice for the well being of our people and the progress of our state. This is the greatest opportunity for you to lend a hand of assistance in the current drive to restore peace and harness the tremendous potential of our state. As you know, the great task ahead of us is that of tackling the security challenges and promoting our ideas that are building this economy. Governor Bello also ordered the reopening of more weekly markets in six local government areas. The reopening of more weekly markets in Zamfara is to test the relaxing of stringent measures earlier taken by the government to address rising cases of banditry and kidnapping in the state. The government also warned residents, especially in troubled areas, 